This video is for those of you who are just getting started with Godot and GDScript. Today we're working with constants. What's up everybody, welcome to MyPixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. So what are constants? Constants are values that don't change once they are initialized or defined. An easy way to think of it is that a constant is just like a variable except that its value cannot be changed once it is assigned. Let's create a constant. We create a constant by first using the keyword const, then following that with a name for our constant, and then assigning a value to it. I'll go ahead and quickly set the text of the text box to be our constant value, and then run the game to see what we got. Alright, no problem. We see our text that we assigned to the constant in the text box. I'll also create a variable and then assign a variable value to the text box just to show you that it works exactly the same way. Now we see our variable's text instead. So up until this point, the variable and the constant work in similar ways. The difference is when we try to assign a different value to them. Let's go ahead and change our variable value. As you would expect, we can change the value of our variable and see the results in our game just fine. However, our constant won't let us do this as you're going to see. As soon as we try to change the value of the constant, we receive an error that says, cannot assign a new value to a constant. So some of you might be saying, well, if a variable can change and a constant can't, then what's the point of a constant? You should just always use variables. Now while you can just choose to use variables, constants provide a way to protect our code from ourselves basically because the value of a constant can only be changed at the point of initialization. This makes it so that you can't reassign the value in the middle of thousands of lines of code and then accidentally forget where you changed the value. I often use a constant for things like game gravity because I usually don't ever want that to change and if it did change midway through the game, it would probably break something. So just remember, variables can change, but a constant is forever. Develop a good habit of using constants whenever you have values that should never change. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on what's coming up next. The sprites, source code, and everything else that I've used in this tutorial today is available for download on my Patreon page, so if you want to check that out and also support the channel, the link will be in the description. Thanks to everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.